Hello, it's Eve. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple and easy method to make a pattern for a sleeve from any bodice front and back that you happen to have in your stash. So you could use this if you've brought a commercial pattern or if you've drafted your own bodice blocks front and back and you need a sleeve to go with it, you can just use this method. And then obviously you would create a twirl from it and just check the fit, make any modifications, but it's a super simple tutorial. You will end up with a pattern at the end. You need first of all your armhole or armor's eye. So that's from your back shoulder coming down around the armhole and up to the front shoulder. That's the first measurement. You're also going to want to know your bicep. So from your underarm going around your arm, you'll want the widest part technically, but we are going to be drafting it based upon the underarm measurement. Then you'll also want to know how long you want to make your sleeve. In this tutorial, I don't worry about the length itself because I'm making this pattern for a easy fit boxy tweed top. And so it's actually going to be quite a short sleeve anyway. But if you wanted to make a long sleeve, then you would need to know that in order to draft out the length correctly. Now we're going to dive in and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I've got a piece of paper and you can see that I have my my block in front of me. I've actually stick it down just so that it doesn't shift. I've also got my measurements. So my back armhole measurement is 26.3. My front is 26.9. The total is 53.2 centimeters. And the bicep for me to have a bit of ease is 39 centimeters. So I'm going to start at the top of my piece of paper just because I am limited on space. I don't need a full length sleeve. And I'm going to measure across the full bicep length. So I said my bicep was 39 and that's what I'm going to draw across. And that's to 20 zero and then up to 19 so that's 39 i'm actually going to square from here i wouldn't normally use a pen this thick i'd be using a pencil but i want you to be able to see what we're doing and you would take the line as long as the length of the sleeve that you wanted okay now obviously this needs to be this is the, the bicep so it's going to be the total width so what i'm also going to do is mark in a line on the opposite side that is 30 oh i run out of paper <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do 38. We won't have quite as much ease. And we're just going to connect that line. So now we want to take our total arm's eye measurement. And mine was 53.2. And we want to divide it by 3. 53.2 divided by 3. 17.7. So we're going to say 17.7. Mm, so I'm going to measure down. And I'm going to pop it up here. And then I'm going to square across. And this is then... That top section is going to be going over. So this will be my shoulder point. This is going to go around the back of my arm and this will go around the front of my arm. I'm hoping that I can try and like help you visualize what this will look like as we go. So this is basically like where my underarm will be. Now we want to divide this into four quarters because four pieces would be quarters. <laughs> now, did we end up having, oh, we've got a half a measurement actually because I must have measured it wrong. That's 18.5. 20 plus 18.5 is 38.5. 38.5 divided by 4 is 9.625 centimeters. So we go to about 9 point a little bit. We've got 1, 9.6 and a little bit. 9.6 and a little bit. And then those I can square up and down. You'll notice I'm not worrying about my underarm, not my underarm, what's that thing called? My block underneath. I'm not using that for this example. I'm just using numbers. So now we have our sleeve divided into four quarters. This is the center, this is the back, and this is the front. Okay, and this is all going around like the underarm bicep area. Yeah, back underarm, we have the back, we have the center, we have the front, we have the front underarm. So now we're going to find our back pitch point, and we're going to take our total armhole measurement, which was 53.2.2. We're going to divide it by 6, 8.286, and then we're going to add 2.5 centimeters or one inch of ease. And that's 11.3. And that's how much we're going to measure up here. 11.3. We're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to add ease to the front. So that's just 8.86. 8.86 about here. And that's going to be our front pitch point. Okay, so when you see your patterns and they've got like notches on the front and notches on the back, those are your pitch points. And don't worry how they sit at different sections. You've probably seen with sleeve patterns before is that one side is normally more curved and one is more steep. Like... Don't worry, this is how a sleeve would fit around that armhole. Now I'm going to switch pans. I want you to be able to see this more clearly. So we're going to now connect the back underarm to the back pitch point and then the back pitch point to the shoulder point and the same shoulder point to front pitch point and then to the front underarm. Now let me change colours again. What we need to do if you've ever seen a sleeve pattern is the underarm scoops in here, scoops out, scoops out 
scoops in. So that's what we're going to do. So the back, we normally scoop it in. Well, the difference is about two centimeters in total. So we take off 0 0.5, 0 0.5 here. We add in 1.5 here. And then here we have a little bit more of a difference. It's more like three centimeters. So we're going to come out two centimeters and we're going to come in one centimeter. And I'm going to show you that now. So what you want to do is you want to find your halfway point. I told you this is the super easy method. So it's about 6.5. From here, we're going to go out one centimeter. And then here, which is the front section, and we're going out two centimeters. Then the back section is 11.5. Five, so it's going to be 5.75. Again, we're going at 1.5 centimeters here. And then the underarm back section, we are at 14.5. So it's going to be 7.25. And we want to come in half a centimeter. Now we get to do the shaping. <laughs> so obviously, we are expecting the line to go around, up through these pitch points that we have here, around, down, and oh, I've gone the wrong direction. What a lemon I am. I'm coming one centimeter this way. We're going to use my French curve because it's just going to be nicer for getting the cube on. You could freehand it as well. Maybe that's what I'm going to do because my French curve can sometimes be a little bit pernickety. Yeah, that's an all right kind of curve. I'm actually going to move my paper then. Sometimes freehand is a lot better than relying on a measuring tool or, you know, a straight rule or something because you can get that kind of natural, more organic shape. Ah, see, that's lovely. Look at that, it's a very nice shape for my sleeve. If we were to measure that, it should be approximately two and a half centimeters bigger than my arm size. So my arm size was 53.2. So we would want that to be 55.7 centimeters approximately, including the ease. So I'm just gonna measure that now so you can see. When you're measuring in this way, you're gonna wanna measure with your tape measure upright so that you've got an accurate guide. Oh, we are 54.5. So I need to add about a centimeter for ease. So maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curve out this line a little bit more, but we're gonna use a different color pen. So now we're looking at the pink line. And that's spot on 26.9 up to the crown. Now let's move, measure the back because we might need to add extra stuff. So what's the back supposed to be? 26.3. Yeah, and we, okay, so we have a centimeter ease. Can you see that? It's about a centimeter. So maybe what I want to do, this sleeve is going to be for the tweed top. So I don't want to have a lot of ease there anyway. So I think I might just leave that. I might just curve this side a little bit more. So I've probably just added on about half a centimeter. Okay, can you see that? That is now the amount of ease that we've got in there. So it's about a centimeter, this gap here. So I'm happy with that. I don't want a lot of ease in it. So then what I would need to do is think about how long I want it to be. I actually don't want the sleeve to be too, too long because it's going to be a short sleeved tweed top. So I'm just going to measure. You can't see this, but I'm measuring from my shoulder point and I'm moving, measuring down to about 17-ish centimeters. Well, that's not even my underarm. So maybe I'm going to add... This is my underarm point. I don't want it too much longer. Maybe like four centimeters. So I've extended it by four centimeters. So I'm going to now trace off this so that I have a separate pattern. When we're tracing off a pattern, it's dead simple. You've probably done this a million times yourself. Piece of paper, make sure you have enough space for seam allowance. And I'm just gonna use the green pen so you can see what I'm doing, but I wouldn't normally use a thick, heavy pen like this. And I should use a ruler as well. <laughs> I'm going to use my French curve just because I don't want to missing it, sorry, my sleeve now that I've got it all measured nicely. Then we need to mark in our pitch points, front, back. I'm going to just mark in that green line. And then we're going to need to add seam allowance. So, or maybe I will anyway, just because if this works out to be the perfect pattern, I don't want to have to trace it all off again. I'm adding one centimeter because that is my preferred amount. If you don't have a pattern master, you can, of course, use any kind of ruler which has a one centimeter guide to help you add in the amount of seam allowance. What I like to do is find that one centimeter up and just square across, but it's not essential. 
Okay, we're going to add two centimeters in case we were making a double fold hem. It's unlikely we would, but just in case. I'm actually going to have this hem as a fringe hem because it's the tweed. And now we can just cut that out. Okay, so we have our pattern piece now. I'm going to take this sleeve pattern. I'm going to cut it in the same fabric. I'm going to sew it to show you how it looks at the end and make sure if there's any fit adjustments we need to do. Okay, so in the interests of sustainability, you can see that I'm actually using a previous part of the toile. This was the first iteration and it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. I'm not going to bother marking in the notches because it's just for a twirl. So we're going to sew up our little sleeve. One centimeter seam allowance. If you were doing this right, you would of course press that open. So the easiest way to put in a sleeve is to have your sleeve right side out and your garment right side in. It's just going to be easier that way. So I've got my front and I know this is my front here. So I'm just going to line up. I'm actually going to line up my underarm seam because that's going to be the easiest way to start. I'm just going to sew from there. Okay, there we have it. It fit in really nicely and that is because I used the armhole measurement to create the pattern. As you can see, armhole nicely matched up. I didn't pin anything. I didn't even check the sleeve head to make sure. It all needs a good press, but it went in really nicely. So now I need to try it on and just check to make sure. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. As you can see, I have the sleeve attached to the one side. I'll add some video here so you can see me assessing it. But basically, I feel like I need to add a little bit more space. So what I would be doing is cutting down here and across here. I, I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more width in this section just to allow my arm a little bit more ease here there's not quite as much as i'd like i also think that i could bring in the actual shoulder point and the armhole itself like by a centimeter in total i feel like it's sitting off my arm more than it should but again it's hard to judge because this is obviously like a symmetrical piece and the weight of the sleeve is pulling it so until i get the other sleeve on it would be hard to judge really but that's my thinking it's a great starting pattern i can now use this for lots of creative stuff and i made that pattern that sleeve block just by using the measurements for an existing pattern you saw the whole process so that's how easy it is to create a sleeve block or a sleeve pattern based upon an existing pattern that you have just follow this really simple method and you're sorted that's all i've got for today i hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions leave them down in the comment box thank you so much for watching give the video a like it's the easiest way you can support me and i thank you very much for that and i'll see you in the next video which will be in a few days i'm sure take care bye